Meet the young man who could take my job soon if he wanted to. Luckily for me, he's in middle school, he's likely to go on to do far greater things than I, and he hails from a family of observers. If you think he looks familiar, you're right. That's Ferris Walt, age 15, Santa Fe, New Mexico, the one we profiled as an upcoming observer and who was at our 2017 conference back in April showing off his state science fair winning research inspired by the observers into how the sun triggers tropical storm activity via geomagnetism. Bottom curves are the solar coronal holes, and the top curves are the number of cyclones on Earth. Nice lag, nice correlation. We knew that he was going to try to parlay his state-level win into a national championship, and when you are in middle school, there are really only two premier contests. One is the Broadcom Masters. These kids are not playing around, and while a point of pride is had in fact that two of the 30 national finalists go to school in my hometown, it is far more joyous for this observer and all observers that the young man we said could be the future of solar terrestrial physics has now won the National Middle School Science Competition for doing exactly that. I am hoping to get a copy of the award-winning work as it has surely been updated, and indeed, there was much more than this even from the state level. Main takeaway is this. For years, this type of science has been hypothesized, observed, tracked, and published in layman's terms that we've said many times even middle school students can understand. Turns out, they can do a little more than that, even if NASA, NOAA, and professors across the world still say it's impossible. That won't stop observers from proving them wrong every single day. Congratulations, Ferris Wald. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.